hi foodies welcome back to my subscribers and if you are new to my channel thanks so much for joining us today we're taking it tropical we want that island vibe that caribbean feeling and since i'm not traveling anytime soon i thought i'd do this to bring that staycation vibe to my home i hope you guys will love this it's pineapple bowl with some pineapple curry wings coconut shrimp coconut rice and some pineapple salsa really delicious i know you're gonna love it and if you're not traveling anytime soon this will just give you that nice vacation feeling at home all right so the first thing we have to do is make these pineapple bowls so guys you want to pick out a nice ripe and firm pineapple and you want to hold that firmly on your cutting board and cut it lengthwise after you cut it lengthwise that's when we're gonna take out all that pineapple flesh really nice and firm guys so I'm gonna be using my paring knife I like to use a nice sharp small knife make some cuts into the pineapple vertically and then horizontally and I'm gonna be taking out these same cubes and using them to make the pineapple salsa whenever I do these bowls if I'm gonna just be making some pineapple juice with the pineapple flesh then I just go in with a big spoon and scoop out everything so that would be like really mushy guys however today I want to use it to make the salsa so I just have to get those cubes out carefully so that I can cut them up into some smaller pieces So whenever I use a spoon and I'm just struggling to get the pineapple out, all I do is I just flip that to the side and use a paring knife and make some more cuts down into the pineapple and then just scoop it out. Alright and then once you scoop this out just keep it in the fridge nice and cool. Okay, so those same cubes that we got out of the pineapple, that's what I'm going to be cutting even smaller to make the salsa. So I'll cut them lengthwise and do that twice. And then I will go and do some crosswise cuts as well. Just tiny little pieces. The pineapple salsa guys is gonna add a nice fresh flavor to the pineapple bowls once you eat everything together it's gonna harmonize so well so we're gonna go ahead add some veggies some seasoning nice bright colors to this pineapple salsa and get everything mixed up together
Okay, so just stir that up and leave it in the refrigerator to marinate until we are ready for it again. Okay, now it's time to make the chicken wings, guys. So I have the chicken wing pieces here rinsed in lemon and cold water already. And now I'm just going to mix it up with some seasoning. The seasoning is just a mixture of spices that I used and I will leave that in the description box, of course. Once you rub that in nicely, then you're just going to put it in the refrigerator. Overnight is really good, but if you can only soak it for an hour, that's awesome as well. I had about six um, shrimp in the freezer in a little Ziploc bag and I decided that I was just going to add it to these pineapple bowls. So it's black tiger shrimp. I leave the tail on but it was deveined and rinsed. Now we're just going to add some seasoning and remember that shrimp is very delicate and small so it's going to absorb the seasonings really fast so this doesn't have to be done overnight. Once the shrimp is seasoned, then we can work on the coating, guys. We're doing coconut shrimp today, but when we're doing that coating, we don't, we don't just dip it in coconut. We have to add the seasoned flour, and then we dip it in some eggs, and then I have a mixture of panko breadcrumbs and some sweetened coconut right here. I like to mix these two things because I find that when I do it that way, any part of the shrimp that the coconut did not stick to, the panko will stick to it. And they're similar in texture. All right. So dip that shrimp in the flour, then the eggs, then the coconut mixture. And this is when the shrimp tail comes in handy, you know, because you can just hold the tail when you're dipping it in these ingredients. Once I've coated the shrimp, I like to transfer them to a freezer safe container and then I'll put it in the freezer until they firm up. This just helps the coating to stick better and keep the shrimp nice and firm when you're ready to fry it. Now it's time for that pineapple curry sauce. Really simple guys, just some coconut oil in this pan and I'm adding the curry powder. I'm using just Jamaican curry powder and then we're going to move that around to make sure it doesn't stick and then add the other ingredients. Once you add the pineapple juice, then you're going to allow this to simmer over medium to high heat because we want this to reduce and get deeper in flavor and thicker as well. So keep it over medium to high heat. Sometimes when I make the pineapple curry sauce, I use the same pineapple, the fresh fruit and just puree the, the flesh to get the juice or sometimes I just buy a can or a box of pineapple juice. Either way, you're good to go. Just make sure that the pineapple juice is not one with pulp. You want just the liquid.
even though we're simmering this and allowing it to reduce we still need the help of just a little slurry to thicken this so the slurry is just equal parts flour and water or cornstarch and and um, water so you can add a little at a time and just keep whisking and watch to see as the sauce thickens sometimes i mix like three tablespoons water three tablespoons of the cornstarch add a little and if i don't need it all i don't use it all For the marinated chicken, I'm doing a simple coating. All I do is pour this seasoned flour all over and just mix it up with my hands. That's it. All right, shake off the excess flour and then we're going to use my deep fryer to cook this. Look at that guys, gorgeous chicken wings, perfect on their own but even nicer with the pineapple curry sauce. The shrimp is nice and firm to the touch, the coating is now stuck to the shrimp really nicely. So we're going to fry these and not for long because remember shrimp cook really fast guys and we just want a nice golden brown color. So just cook it for a few minutes and then drain it on a wire rack along with the chicken wings. Do not put these fried items straight on the napkin because you want them to be crunchy. Okay guys, now it's time to serve this up. So I have the coconut scented basmati rice. I'll leave the recipe link in the description. So put that rice in there. You can use plain rice if you prefer but the coconut scented rice goes so well with this. And I didn't use any shredded coconut in it today, but you can add that if you like. Then we're going in with that nice, refreshing, tasty salsa. Really delicious. Adds a, so much color to this. Now we can toss the wings in the sauce. I didn't toss them before because I didn't want them to sit and get soggy. So toss them with the sauce. Leave a little bit of the sauce just in case you want to dip the coconut shrimp in it toss these together and then we're gonna add them to the bowl and add the shrimp as well Now isn't that gorgeous guys and you can add a little more sauce on top it is so good it just works perfectly 
because you have your pineapple bowl, you have the pineapple salsa, the rice, the wings, everything just works together in perfect harmony because you have a pineapple and coconut flavor going on here. Really nice and delicious dish, guys. It's so good for date night. And you can even do it for a family dinner. You can do this for a, um, a lunch. So many options for this dish. It's really flexible. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Remember to check the description box for the ingredient list. And stick around for the cooking tips as well. I want to thank you guys for watching all the videos and taking me to over 6,000 subscribers. Thanks so much, guys. Remember, before you go to like the video, share with a friend. And if you haven't subscribed already, remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you next time.